Today, as a marker of Posture's 50th episode, I wanted to celebrate a little bit by doing something unique. So I'm going to give you the gift of a crafted prayer. I, I just have to tell you, I am so, 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 so thankful for every single one of you who tune into Posture. I do pray for this community often. And this week, I spent some time with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, our divine prayer team, tuning into their hearts for you and hearing what they are praying over you. And so that is what I'm gonna share with you today. Hi, I'm Lindsay Van Zale. Posture is a podcast that serves as a short, audible fist bump to remind you that God is in everything. Together, we're gonna to be emboldened to take a daily posture of perfect peace. Now we've been talking this week about developing a confident expectation in God's goodness and a constant awareness of His presence. And my hope is that this prayer helps in feeding that expectation and awareness. I encourage you to receive this prayer over and over again. Re-listen to it. Let it soak into your spirit. Let it renew your mind and allow it to build your anticipation for all that God is doing in you and for you during this season. And something specific may jump out to you, like a word or a phrase or even a portion of the prayer. Go back to it, review it, ask your divine prayer team to illuminate why it stood out to you. They are so eager to share their thoughts with you. And this might be something you're not used to, me too. It's a little bit unique. So feel free to just close your eyes to shut out any distraction and just relax and focus on the words. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, here we go. God, I thank you for your empowering presence that is always with us, always in us and never leaves us. Thank you for placing us in you and you and us so that we are so interwoven that nothing could ever separate us from your love. God, I thank you for this community of people who have been brought together for such a time as this to pursue your promise of perfect peace. God, you are so, so kind to give us each other. And I know that you know Everyone who is watching and listening, you know each of their names, their stories, you know their hearts, you know their pain, their joy. You even know if they are watching or listening to this this week or five years from now because you're not bound by time. You are truly the God who sees us. And Lord, it's because of who you are that I am confident that you will accomplish your glorious plans for each and every one of us. And these plans of yours, according to your word, are marked by peace and they are filled with hope. God, I'm so thankful for your goodness to us. I ask that you would fill every heart right now with your confidence. I pray that you would give us eyes to see how you see what is happening in our world right now with this global pandemic and with any personal battles that we are currently facing. I pray that we will see and trust that you have gone before us and that we will recognize where you have placed your provision for us in this season. I pray that our hearts will be marked with an expectation of your goodness and glorious future, not a dread of the next news report. Lord, I pray that we will all pick up on the excitement of heaven that is in the air right now. I pray that we will see what the enemy has sent to harm us. You are turning around swiftly for the good of those who love you. Lord, in this season of divine reset, empower us with your rest, your renewal, and your unlimited resources. We will be refreshed. We will not leave this season empty-handed. We will be delighted and not disappointed. I pray for every household and family that is represented by people who are watching and listening. And Father, I pray that you would bless and highly favor them. I pray that that favor that you give us would overflow into our neighborhoods and our community so that the people around us would taste and see that you are God 
and you are so very good. Lord, we want to partner with you in taking out the spirits of of intimidation and fear. So give us the wisdom to guard our own hearts against intimidation and fear and embolden us to remove them from our lands. Lord, we know you love us and we will just not believe anything less of you. It's because of your radical goodness, your relentless love and your redeeming promises that I boldly declare radiant health into our bodies and minds right now. I declare perfect peace, nothing missing and nothing broken in your people. Lord, make us a people who empty the enemy's hands and destroy every single one of his plans. Make us a people who shift atmospheres, infuse peace, spread joy, and walk confidently in your love and in your truth today, tomorrow, and forever. I pray all of these things with so much confidence, so much trust, because I pray them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The promise of perfect peace is found in Isaiah 26.3, and in Hebrew it is shalom shalom, meaning complete wholeness. Nothing missing, nothing broken. This is who you are in Jesus. Let's declare this together. Today, I am kept in perfect peace. With my whole heart, I trust the Lord. I am strong, I am victorious, I am whole. Remember friend, you are a living testimony of Jesus' ultimate win. Not because of anything you did, but because of what he did for you. With every step you take today, you're putting Jesus' victory on display and Satan's defeat on replay.